Hello guys, welcome to the next movie. Today I'll be working with Bafang DBS HD motor. I'll be replacing uh, broken controller with the new one. The standard one. So it's not that easy as you may think. It will involve uh, reprogramming of this new controller since it's uh, not fully compatible with this old stator. So I'll show you all the steps how to do this and give some uh, information about settings for the programming. So I hope it will be interesting for you. So stay with me and watch it to the end. I'll show you first how the motor uh, behaves when I'm connecting uh, the new controller. Here on the table you can see also this broken one. So I'm not going to details about this one. Uh, here you can see the setup, the battery is connected to this new controller. So as you can see the phase wires and the whole sensor wire connected to the stator. Okay. So I'll turn on the screen. Just hope you will see. It's quite bright. Oh, now you can see it. So just after uh, the system will start, you will see this arrow code number 10, which means motor temperature is too high. For obvious reasons, this motor is cold, so <laughs> this error doesn't make any sense. But I read on the internet uh, on the endless sphere forums that this is the sign of incompatibility between the new controller and the old stator. So they advise to reprogram it, and that's what I'll be doing now. Using the laptop. And I hope I will not destroy this new controller. <laughs> anyway, it doesn't work, so if I break it, well, you can always you know, replace the stator and the new controller or buy the new motor. But let's see what will happen. I'll prepare a new controller for reprogramming now. So first of all, you need this uh, USB cable, and this uh, programming tool for Bafang motors. So on one side you will see this normal USB connector which you are plugging into the computer, and on the other side is this green connector to connect uh, displays. You are not changing anything on the display, so it will stay aside. We will be doing an uh, update of this firmware on the control only. Here on the screen you can see the software I will be using for this. It's called STC ISP. Um, I will not go into details about all the settings. I will just prepare everything briefly and then I will just show you quickly what kind of settings I'm using. Everything is described in the manual, which you can see on the right side. Yeah. So I will just put it in the comments so then you can read it yeah. yourself. It will be better than explaining everything in this movie. Before I will start uh, programming the controller, I need to check uh, what kind of communication port uh, I'm using for this uh, Bafang uh, programming cable. In my case it's COM5, but it can be different depending on your computer. So you can check this uh, in the Windows settings, but I'm using this Bafang configuration tool just to be sure. And at the same time I can see actually what is the software version installed on this current uh, new controller. So as you can see it's 48 volt, 
nominal voltage uh, version with 28 amps maximum current. Okay, so now we start uh, configuring this uh, software upgrading uh, tool, and then after it's done, I will check what I get in this window for control info. Okay, now I'm ready for uh, reinstalling the software. So I set uh, the correct parameters for the COM port, the max baud, which should be 57,600. We need to set the correct ERC frequency to 18.432. We need to disengage this point, enable longer power on reset latency. Okay. Now I can go to open code file window. I'm selecting this file latest driver. Press open, you see the window is changing. So now I'll just mention that. Battery is connected, but it's not turned on, which is important according to this instruction. And then you press this button download program. You will see this message checking target uh, MCU. Now it's time to turn on the battery, and you'll see that software is started. working, uh, uploading the new software. Doesn't take long, I'm just doing this now second time. So I checked that it's successful. See, I get the message complete, validate. So now I can turn on, turn off, sorry, battery, reconnect the screen, and then I will show you what I get. I have reconnected this uh, controller cable to the display, so battery is turned on, I will switch on the display now. Takes around 3-4 seconds. So now you can see there are no error messages, yeah, like as it was before. You can change the power levels. Everything works smoother now. If I will go to display settings, I shouldn't see any information about the error counts. Okay. Registered the previous ones. So anyway, it's working. So I'll we'll just show you quickly on walk assistance mode how it rotates to make a lot of noise. So just to show you that it works. See? So no problem. So now I'll just mount uh, all these elements to the housing and uh, check how it works with the uh, throttle. Now when I tested the motor with uh, reprogrammed uh, control, it's time to put everything uh, back together. So I will not go into details how to do this, there is plenty of movies on YouTube showing this, I will just Briefly uh, summarize what needs to be done. Just took out this nylon gear for inspection. Since this is the weakest point of the motor, there are no damages on threads. What is? Yeah, so I have to grease it and poke on this pinion here. And then 
cover it with this uh, metal cover. Just go like here. Oh, sorry, here. No. And then I'll be able to put the stator in. It's important to remember about uh, greasing all the gears. Yeah. So this pinion will go here. And I will fit uh, all these face wires through the openings in the housing. There's three holes here. Then when this is installed, I'll be able to install the controller. So uh, this uh, whole sensor cable will go through this opening and will connect to the connector on the stator, this one here. And then I just need to screw everything together and put on the back. And after this is done, I will just show you how it operates. Before I put the motor on the back, I'll just do some quick testing. But everything works fine, so walk assistance. As you can see, this uh, chain ring hub is rotating, no problem. Pass is working as well. Just need to go to level 9, for instance, to see the fast reaction. So you can hear, motor is engaging. Okay. When you don't have a speed sensor connected, you will get instantly this error code 21. But that's normal, since I don't have motor on the back and the speed sensor is not connected. Okay. Okay, guys. Motor is installed on the bike. It's working fine. So I'll just show you quickly how it operates on the gas. So as you can see, there are no strange noises from the motor. The gas throttle reaction is smooth. It's in speed mode, so you don't have this jerkiness like in the current mode. It's much safer to ride in general. I don't recommend this current mode by the way. But some people like it, I don't understand why. Pass mode is working as well. Soft engagement. You regulate the power of the button. Notice like a small delay. Oh, that's okay. Alright. So that's all here. I hope that you enjoyed this movie. Uh, you may try yourself, you know, checking out uh, different versions of the software for the stock controller. Uh, it might give you actually better reaction of the motor. You don't know that. Might be advisable to do this for the older motors. Okay, I hope that you enjoyed this movie. I watch it uh, all. <laughs> so, see you in the next one. Ride safe and take care. Bye bye.